Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video of the day from Psych Hacks. How modern women make it hard to love them. Make it easy to get what you want. Thank you guys below. I really appreciate it. That's good. That's Chow. It's Chow Time. I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is how women make it difficult to love them. They do. So this one is for the ladies. Ladies, I'm here to help you. If you are not interested in having more love in your life, then this is not the episode for you. you I did this particular episode because I want to see the, the advice that he gives to women. And if it's something that we can absorb ourselves and understand. This is why I add a little bit of other things. You can kindly move on. But for those of you who are still listening, I'm going to teach you how you can get more love in your life. It's actually very simple. It will cost you nothing. And you can start today with what you already have. Sound good? As I often do, I'm going to begin by first extrapolating an analogy with the professional world and then demonstrating how that mirrors what occurs in a romantic relationship. Why? Because people are generally so much more rational and understanding when it comes to business. Yep. And the fact of the matter is that what tends to work in one tends to work in the other. In any case, in this scenario, let's pretend that you're running a business. Okay. As a result, I'll assume that you'd be interested in making more money, yeah. more sales for your product, more clients for your service. To that end, as the business owner, you will need to ensure that it's easy for your customers to part with their money. Mm. Like if you're selling a product, you don't want there to be more than three clicks involved in that funnel. It's like add to cart, fill in my little credit card security code, and buy now. Boom. That's it. Mm -hmm. The more streamlined and intuitive you make that process, the more money is going to come your way. Makes sense. It's not a good idea to put obstacles between your customers and your accounts receivable. I mean, how do you feel when companies make this process difficult? It's like, buy, please. What? I have to make an account first. Ugh, okay, I guess. But they're asking for my credit card now? Oh, so they're going to auto-bill me later. Jeez. Okay, fine. I'll just make a reminder to cancel the membership before it renews. All right. What now? They need to verify my identity? So I have to oh upload an ID. Jesus. Oh. We deal with this so much nowadays. The verifying identity, everything. Oh. The government wants their freaking cake and eat it too. Okay. Uh, I think I have a pic on my phone somewhere. Oh, it has to be scanned. No pictures accepted. Okay, fuck this. Fuck it. It's not worth it anymore. <laughs> and you're going to go find a comparable good that you can acquire without all this rigmarole. You know what's the biggest piss me off? It's the fucking captcha. When it says, look at the which one is the street light. And there's like a portion of the street light on another freaking frame. And you're like, shit, should I hit that one too? Because that's part of the street light. And I was just like, Fuck. <laughs> now, imagine if this same company then looked at its balance sheets and then blamed its customers for its revenue. Ooh. Well, Women. if they really liked our products, then they would have found a way to make it work. If they wanted to, they would. And since <laughs> they didn't, I guess they didn't really want to. So, psh, next. I mean, how difficult is it to scan a driver's license? You'd think we'd make some kind of unreasonable request here, but how else are we supposed to verify someone's identity so they can make an account to buy a membership to have access to our products? Ugh. <laughs> Customers. <laughs> like, can you imagine? Can you imagine mistaking your complex business funnel for your customer's lack of interest? I'll say that one again. Can you imagine mistaking your complex business funnel for your customer's lack of interest? This is such a great analogy. This is why I love Dr. Freaking Orion. You know, it it really opens your eyes as you just like, yeah, women make it so difficult on themselves for us to even approach or do anything. And then they complain about being lonely. That would be wild, wouldn't it? Paradoxically, the only business that could possibly get away with something like this is the one that is so in demand, that is, it perceives such high interest in its customers that it actually needs to create obstacles to slow down the transaction process so that it isn't overwhelmed. And most businesses 
ain't got that problem. No. You understand? <laughs> no, As I discussed don't. at length in another episode, a bad business blames its customers. If you want things, do not make it difficult for people to give you said things mm -hmm. because that would be stupid. Now, before I go any further, if you're liking what you're hearing, please consider sending this episode to someone who might benefit from its message because it's word of mouth referrals like this that really help to make the channel grow. I'm also proud to announce that I'll soon be publishing my book, The Value of Others. So if you'd like to learn more about that, you can go on my website and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Finally, please fill out an inquiry form on my website if you're looking to book a paid consultation. The link is in the description. I don't promote other people's things too much, but uh, if men out there need some kind of help, need some professional advice, I would suggest giving this man a call or giving this man a consultation if you really need to work some things out. Not everything can be worked out by working out and, you know, pushing through. I do understand that. Some things you kind of have to talk through. I don't know what those issues are personally because I just work out and work through it personally. But I know there's some people that require a, a helping ear. All right, let's get back to it. Now... The same principle applies to relationships, ladies. Let's say that instead of money, you want to receive more love in your life. Mm -hmm. Just like a successful business, you need to work to make the point of transaction streamlined and intuitive. A lot of you ladies create these really complex and elaborate funnels that make it harder and harder for you to receive the love that you say that you want. Yep. And just like the business with the complicated sales funnel, that is ultimately to your detriment. For instance, I have heard women say that they felt unloved when a man didn't read a book she recommended or when he didn't notice her new manicure or when he... I wouldn't read any book. Like, I just don't read, personally. I try, but if it's a complicated book, trust me, it's going to take me forever. Didn't want to watch a show with her or when he wouldn't that. listen to her problems without offering solutions, or when he didn't let her pick the side of the bed in the hotel room, or when he took her to a place he once took his ex-girlfriend, or when he infantilized her by doing things for her, or when he abandoned her by not doing things for her, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These frustrations and disappointments reveal a complex, evolving, and often unconscious system of requirements. A woman is subject to imposing on her relationships. For instance, if we were to work backwards, it would suggest that in order for this woman to feel loved, which presumably is something that she wants, she needs a man to read her book recommendations, notice her manicure, watch her shows, listen to her problems without offering solutions, let her pick her side of the bed, take her only to places he has never taken anyone else, do certain things for her, not do certain other things for her, and be able to know the difference between those two categories. Again, a Superman that doesn't exist. Yes. All this does is unnecessarily complicate her love funnel, which will absolutely result in her receiving. Doctor, that shit was hilarious. Complicating her love funnel. <laughs> All I can think of is her putting barriers in her vagina. So, so when he said love funnel, I was like. <laughs> Less love, not more. And if she were to go one further, and blame the man for his inability or unwillingness to navigate this complexity, then she is going to have a tough time out there. Like they all a business do. that operated like that would not have a very bright future. And I don't think anyone else is telling women this. No. Like there are so many things in popular psychology that seem to validate and support this kind of complexity. Like take love languages. The construct of love languages fortifies the idea that complexity is not only normal, but should be accommodated. It is the emotional equivalent of a business saying that it only accepts Albanian Lex and American Express. Mm. Now, <laughs> businesses can do whatever they want, but functionally insisting that its customers change their currency or open a new line of credit just to do business with them will absolutely result in less revenue, not more. Yep. On the other hand, a business that is interested in making money will go out of its way 
to accept an ever-growing diversity of payments, cash, credit. This is men. We are accepting of most payments out there. You, you, you a six girl? It's okay. You a four girl? It's okay. Credit, personal checks, cryptocurrency, fucking bartering. Damn like, bring right. Bring me a basket we'll of apples barter. and we're good. All of the things being equal, that business is going to make more money because it has made it easier for its customers to part with that money. Mm. And we all kind of already knew that love languages were bullshit anyway. Yeah, yeah. If for no other reason that they are so inconsistently applied. Like the same woman who insists on certain forms of love payment from her husband is not going to insist on those forms of love payment from her children. Mm. Like, while I appreciate the crayon drawing of me, sweetie, you should understand that mommy's more of an acts of service kind of girl moving forward. Like a good mother makes it easy for her children to love her and sees the value of that love in their intentions, Ooh. not in her preferences. Damn, that was a big statement right there. He's right, right? Mothers don't use the same love languages on their kids and stuff, right? Yeah, you just got to make it easy. Men? We're easy already. <laughs> Most of us are fucking easy. But women, I'm not saying they're not easy. There are some women that are easy, but they have this crazy standard and this crazy, you have to hit all the checkpoints before I even do anything with you. A good woman does the same for her man. Ladies, if you've created a situation in your minds that require people to do certain things in order for you to feel certain ways, you've really made it that much more difficult for anyone to love you. Yep. And that's obviously not to your benefit. It's a better idea to simplify the process by which you receive love and to increase the forms in which you accept love. Don't make it difficult for people to give you what you want and you will get more of it. Trust me. What do you think? Does this fit with your own experience? Let me know in the comments below. Shout out to Dr. Orion. I 100% agree with him. You know, the easier you make it for people, the, the easier it is for them to be willing to do things for you or with you or whatever it is. Men are very good with this. You know, women want to do whatever. We're, we're pretty, you know, we'll, we'll, we're, we'll go with it. But women, if they, they don't get their way, it always becomes a problem. And their way could be just a minute little thing that you didn't do, like complimenting her hair when you should have, according to her. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.